So thank you. Uh, we would like to thank you first for the opportunity for presenting the Red Mix tracking tool. Um, my name is Gabriel Alonso, and together with Von Aceitius, uh, uh we are going to present you the tool that we have been working. We are a Brazilian-based company with more than uh, 15 years of experience in the uh, concrete uh, uh, market in Brazil, and our target is to basically uh, uh, help our customers to improve efficiency. And uh, I have some examples here to share with you where we, can, uh, we, we, we have some, a lot of potential to achieve uh, this uh, cost reduction, let's say. Okay? Começou do... Não, essa última slide. Just a second. Posso falar? Ok. Second slide, please. Ok. This is an overview of the tool. Very simple. We don't want to add a complex steps here. But basically, our trucks here from our customers are connected with the PLASP and We Alone platform. We have an interface with our system. And our core systems makes a series of calculations. I'm going to show you a little bit more details about it as well. And after that, we can generate a set of information. It's very important to show you here one thing, which is uh, we are totally focused on the delivery process. Okay? Uh, um, so the cycle is very simple, uh, which is basically loading the truck at the plant location. We track the time that the truck takes to the customer location the unloading process and the time that the truck takes to come back, come back to the plant location. Very simple, very straightforward, but here I can tell you there's a lot of money involved, okay? Because uh, uh, if you take more time, you add more costs. So our target is to uh, uh, reduce costs by focusing on this uh, delivery cycle, okay? So um, what is the core system? Um, the core system uh, is basically the, the brain of the, of the system. I'm going to show you details in the next few slides. Um, but the idea here is uh, we have a, a set of, of artificial intelligent algorithms, uh, learning machine, and automatic detection of the events. So, so the delivery cycle has a lot of events, and the system is automatically tracking this. And that's the very important point for us. We try to make this... Uh, uh, the least interference from, from uh, manual interference, uh, interference, okay? So that's, that's basically the idea of the system. Here is basically to show you uh, how simple the system is. We are talking here about four or five screens, okay? In the middle, you see the computer, uh, which is basically the dashboard. Uh, we also have an op operational panel in the top left side. And I'm going to talk about each one of these screens, so you, can, you, you have a good idea about it, okay? Uh, the system also pop up some maps so you can easily and, and quickly track the status of each delivery. Okay, so it's a simple system, very easy to check, very easy to figure it out if there is a problem or not. Okay, starting with the dashboard. Dashboard, the, tar the, the, the target here is basically to give a quick reference to the operator. Okay, and by doing that, the operator can make some corrections in the process. So uh, in the example here, we have uh, four plants. And in these four plants, uh, uh, all together, we have sev uh, several set of charts. Okay? Uh, for example, let's suppose the, the average cycle for these four plants is 100 minutes. Okay? You can easily track here which one of the operations are taking more time. You can track which truck, if there is a problem with the driver, whatever. You can do uh, everything here. You can make quick corrections. You can allocate the resources to the right places. As we can see here, uh, uh, we have average cycle, trips by truck, total trips, trips by hour, and trips by weekday. So another example would be in the trips by hour. Let's say one of your plants has a peak or rush hour after 10 p.m., 10 p.m. So you can easily track this and allocate the trucks to that plant on that time. Remember that the, the one of the targets here is to reduce the need of trucks on the operation. I'm going to give you details about cost per truck. And this is a very important information. But with this dashboard, you can make quick corrections. You don't have to wait 
uh, 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 you know, to reallocate resources. And this is a big, a very important feature, is the front end of the system. Okay, second screen uh, is the operational panel. So it, it, this is basically a real, real tracking of the production and delivery. But what happens here is, in the top left side, you can see several lines. Each line represents a delivery, okay? So the answer is yes, you can, online, you can see where the truck is in the delivery cycle. And this is very nice because you can see how, how much time, for example, it took for you to load, and this is example here is 17 minutes, the, the, the time to, to, to deliver the products or how, how long it's taking for the truck to go to the customer and returning, unloading, and everything else. This is, this is very important because why? Uh, a lot of times in the concrete business, it's important for you to know when the trucks or what trucks are coming back. And you can start working in advance. And by doing that, you reduce the time of delivery. And it's all about time of delivery here, okay? If you click on the truck, the system will pop up a map like this. And the map is showing a basic information here. As you can see in the red dot, you, you see here the plant. You can see the truck, where the truck is. You, you can see the customer location. And the blue line is the way to customer, and the, red, uh, the, the, the green line is the way from the customer to the plant. So it's easy. I actually, as you can see here, uh, right, below the, the, uh, right beside the truck, the figure of the truck, the yellow truck here, you know the distance of the truck from your plant coming back to the, to the plant location. So it's easy, it helps you to speed up the process, the loading time and everything. Because the worst thing is to have a truck waiting to be loaded for more than 20, 30, 40 minutes. We're losing money if, if we do that. So that's the, the target of this screen, okay? Okay, there's one additional feature that's very important, at least for the South American operations and, and other operations around the world, which is what we call stop alert. What is this stop alert? If the truck stops in any unknown location from the plant to the customer, the system will pop up a red dot, as you can see here. And the red dot, as you can see in the map, there is one stop sign out there. And this stop sign basically shows that something wrong happened. It, he, the truck was not supposed to stop there. At this moment, the operator can call the truck driver and, and ask him what's going on. Okay? You have a flat tire, what exactly ha is happening, okay? Specifically in our example in Brazil, we could reduce with that 100% of the theft, okay? Because the truck drivers knows they are being monitored. And if they stop the truck for any reason, they will have to give explanations. And of course, if you have a driver who always stops in one location, which is not expected location, you know what to do with him and you, you will ask what's going on and you can reduce theft by 100% with that. This is a very important. There's a lot of money, was a lot of money involved on this in operations that we're working with, okay? Next, uh, here we are talking about um, a summary report after the deliveries. And for us, this is a very important report because you can easily track here, for example, loading time. There's a column for loading where you can see here in the first line, 16 minutes after 17. 18, 16, so, so if the average for that plant is 20 minutes, if someone takes 25, 30 minutes, you know you have a problem here, so you have to figure it out. So the idea of this screen is after you have all deliveries is to figure it out if everything is running properly, you are not losing too much time, and if you're losing time, you, you need to know what exactly is going on. So this is a very important screen for us. So, uh, and that's, that's, that's one of the questions um, we have, uh, where are my customers? A lot of systems uh, that we see in the market, um, when you have a system like that, let's suppose a plant has a thousand customers, so you would have to type each one of the addresses into the system, and this takes time, this takes complexity, and, and, and it demands you to constantly reveal this kind of, of situation. Our system does it automatically. You don't have to put the customer address in the system. 
the, the system automatically detects where the, customers I, the customer is. And this is a very important point because the system is always learning about the customer locations and will provide you a correct tracking, will provide you a correct tracking of the, the entire uh, delivery cycle. Okay, and this is a very important feature for, for us because it makes things, it, it makes everything easier. No, the implementation is very easy. After the presentation, if you, uh, uh, if you want to see a little bit more details, we can, we can show you how easy it is to set up this system with the customer. Another thing, this system can work with or without sensors. Okay, so if you want to add more accuracy to this process, yes, you can add the sensors. And also we have interfaces with the ERP. So when you have a billing process uh, 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 of any sort, you can also add some links to the system. Everything is prepared, everything is uh, uh, easy, and uh, no complex things, which is our target, okay? Here's a heat map uh, that the system also provides. So you can quickly see where are the customers in your map. Big customers, of course, if you have several deliveries to the same customer, you are going to see a lot of points together. So the heat map shows you that. Also, the, the heat maps helps the customer to figure it out. If there is any customer that is very distant from your location, uh, you can adjust price. You can make decisions about it. So it's, it's a quick reference. You can look at the map and figure it out if there is any problem. No? So what is our target? Um, our target is basically uh, to reduce complexity, and by doing that, we are going to reduce costs. Just to give you an example, we are working with one operation in Brazil that has 16, more than 16 plants, and we could manage to reduce from 140 trucks to 120. We are talking about a lot of money here because the cost of one, only one truck, at least in Brazil, the estimate cost is $5,000 per month. And we are talking about the salary of the driver, we are talking about fuel consumption, we are talking about depreciation of the truck. So reducing one truck, you can reduce $5,000 per month. So times uh, uh, 20 trucks, 30 trucks, uh, it makes a big difference. Okay? So this is a very uh, good uh, argument we use and we have the actual examples to show this. No? So it's a big saving. Guys, I ap apologize for, for <coughs> interrupting. Uh, we do need to stay on time. Okay. Just the final slide. Okay. 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 The final slide is this. Uh, um, thank you very much for your attention. Uh, we are going to be available after the presentation if you want to see details. Uh, we are going to send also in the WhatsApp link uh, our uh, 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 details about uh, 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 a form that uh, you can use to communicate with us. So thank you very much for your attention. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.